And uh, ramdam na natin to, no? Like, this is most likely going to be, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Marius Vita, no? Si Donut na balibalita ko talaga na isang, uh, ang tinatawag nilang one-one lord. Kumbaga, ewan mm. ko si Donut ba talaga yun, pero yun ang balibalita ko, especially around the amateur scene, na comfort pick talaga ang one-one para sa gold laner nga ng ating uh, next day Evos in the Seabold 2022 National Team Selection. But for the other side, no, El Ganador, they have a very well-balanced lineup. Uh, I want to just say out loud that this looks very well-drafted for El Ganador Esports. How about you? Yeah, so it's a good balance too. Um, kailangan lang talaga mag-ingat dito ng El Ganador, especially with Glue. How is he gonna initiate at kailan siya mag-initiate? Because as the main frontliner for their team alongside the Esmeralda sila lang talaga yung makakabigay ng ano space or pang feel para sa mga miyembro ng El Ganador. Kagura and Clint meron naman sila mga abilities pang control din pang maiwas ng mga damage but Glue needs to be perfect with the timing. Yeah, tignan natin kung magiging perfecto ba ang timing ng Glue dahil papasok na tayo sa Land of Dawn for Game 1 against uh, Next Play Evos against El, Gan El Ganador Esports. Wala pa naman tayo nakikitang early action here in Game 1. And this is expected coming in from NXPE. Kailangan nila ng oras para dito sa Sicilia. Huh. Inspire for Donut as the emblem. So, I mean, considering how 1-1, meron, na meron naman siyang natural... Uh, Purify, that's just gonna be a lot of attack speed para sa 1-1, para kay Donut, and then also having the weakness finder could be a lot of slows. So El Ganador Esports also have to find a way to pin this 1-1 down come the team fights. Kasi may chance na baka maka free hit lang dito si Donut. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the mid lane, no? I'm not sure kung si Apple Tee siya ba dito ay si Haze nga dahil based sa ating uh, roster list, no? hindi ko pa nakikita kung, kung may Apple Tee siya ba dito. Uh, but uh, let's just assume that this is a Yelly Haze in the mid lane. And now down bottom lane, Cadenza gets a little bit of damage coming in from that isolated Clint ability. Talagang napakasakit nun kapag mag-isa ka. Mm. And now, El Ganador, susubukan nila i-pressure si Donut sa bottom lane. Buti hindi pa umalis dito si Cadenza just in case kailangan nila ng tulong. Cadenza will be there to hop in. Good patience by NXP Evos. Yep, and NXP, they are going to counter jungle sa blue side ng El Ganador. Alam nila na kaya ng pakito ang kanyang sarili pero mukhang iiwanan niya ang camp na yun dahil medyo naging delikado as the turtle is already up. In terms of numbers, pantay naman. Nakuka din sa nahuli ata. First blood going to El Ganador Esports. Pero pwede mag-contest dito next play Evos. Limang ultimate na gamit doon ng El Ganador. Oh no! Papagsak ang Hayabusa. Nice na pasok galing dito kay Ureshi. Got a dragon out. Nice one for next play Evos. Nakapag 1-1 trade sila. At nakuha nila si King Frenzy. And now the first turtle of the game, wala pa nag -uumpisa. But El Granador, naka-position sila doon sa may turtle pit. However, they want to go ahead and take it. Good response by next play Evos. Nakabawi sila ng isang kill. Great teamwork there by Ure Ureshi sa Apple Pisha. Potentially that, yun nga, baka potentially si Haze yan. <laughs> Looking at the registration. But yeah, so far, uh, great response overall. Tingnan lang natin kung sino makuha ng unang turtle of the game considering how El Ganador na umpisa na nila at nandun na si King Frenzy good chance sila makuha na ng unang makuha ng unang turtle Blue team has slain the turtle turtle will be secured by El Ganador Esports mapupunta to kay King Frenzy that's the first objective of the game let's see if they could build a slight momentum from that one Cadenza no inaalagaan niya talaga si Tona and kailangan talaga gawin doon ang next play Evos because again, with the Paquito roaming around, getting a little bit of help of Sicilian as well, and si Oreshi with the Dragon form coming in from the XP lane, you don't have to worry so much about the Paquito. Pero kailangan talaga laga na next play Evos yung late game insurance nila that one one. Because once Donut has his items and he's ready to go, oh. magin problema siya para sa El Ganador. Wow, nice flicker coming in from Joseph. Na iwasan niya ang buong combo nito ni Cadenza. But does that that does burn the flicker at napaka-importante 
para sa Clint na manatiling buhay. We did see a struggling Clint last game. Uh, corrosion Scythe na buo na dito ni Donut right now in terms of the XP and because of the aggressive lane oh, control yeah, yeah, the lane. Well, di siya Yelly Ace the Shadow Kill hindi siya matatapos babalik na dito sa Shadow si King Frenzy at bukang delikado na siya Reggie si papasok time step with Y2 uh -oh. uh -oh. walay na naman ang Hayabusa at si Reggie lalabas na Lumier pukusunod ka na Sosbo sang matatamaan si Glue pero hindi na makakaisa it's a 2 for none exchange for next play Evos. Great attempt to open up that pick off from El Ganador. Minguin again with the great umbrella toss and the yun yang overturn. Pero handa yung next play Evos doon sumagot. Nakaposisyon na maayos dun si H2 na force back niya si Minguin at the same time sa rotation ni Oreshi. Nakabalik siya sa laban just in time para mahinto si Lumiere, para makahuli sila, mahuli din nila si King Frenzy, and of course, Cadenza, landing the Tyrant's Revenge, bouncing ball, next play Evos, they could find a good opening here in the bottom lane, kung hindi makataka si Joseph. Uh, Joseph had to go out, alam niya may tapong tao, sa gold lane, and without the flicker, he had to respect, he had to give that turret, so the first third of the game will be going to next play Evos. Turtle ay sisimulan na naman ng El Ganador Esports. Mukhang makaka-respond naman ng next play Evos. Uh, Apat na member ng NXP malapit sa Turtle. Ureshi, sulit na sulit talaga ang fla yung Black Dragon form niya. And let's see if Lumiere oh, no, will Lumiere. be able to disrupt next play Evos. The Pactito goes down. H2 ay wala sa turtle fight na to at mukhang mapupunta na naman ang turtle sa El Ganador. Great pick off, great call there para sa El Ganador. Na nakita nila yung jungler immediately going for H2, taking him down. That opens up the turtle para sa El Ganador. At now Cadenza, halikat ang buhay ni Vito. Nakaanap na naman ang isa. At babagsak si Cadenza. 3-3 na ang ating kill score. At ito ang first gold lead ng El Ganador Esports. Next play, Evos leading in the tower pushes. Pero sa mga objectives, sa Turtles, lahat na punta so far. Sa side ng El Ganador. Next play, Evos though. Slight deficit sa gold, pero they are still definitely in this game. Pero kailangan nila mag-ingat doon sa surprise initiations ng El Ganador. Hindi sila takot na pag meron silang nahanap na key target, kukunin talaga nila yon. They're gonna try to go for that attempt. They will try to get that kill. So their surprise initiations by El Ganador and of course their ability to respond as well. Next play, Evos just have to play around that. That's how they'll be able to come back. But El Ganador, those are their biggest strengths. The more they keep doing that, ba, they'll be able to keep momentum of the game completely. Kailangan talagang magingat ng next play Evos dito kay Mingguin o kay Carl Galiantes. Talagang 3-0 running the this emblem mas well talaga na hapa sa kipa sa kanyang full combo ang magic worship ang taka magic worship para kay Mingguin men napakasakit ng mga kagura na gato. Nakita naman natin ng ginawa ni Aqua kanina. Ngayon, next play Evos at El Ganador, even sa tower destroyed to both side lane towers down. Pero both teams, sinalagaan nila maayos yung mid lane nila. 20 seconds until the next Lord. May lightning truncheon na dito si Mingguin, so kailangan mag-ingat dito ng next play Evos. Again, positioning and looking for this Kagura. Nakita na natin kanina from Aqua how one Kagura umbrella toss isang gamit ang ginyang overturn makakapag-ikot ng laban. And right now, it is still a close game despite El Ganador holding on to that gold lead. Nice pick off coming in from next play, Evos. King Frenzy, mukha nahihirapan siyang mabuhay dito. Men, 0-3-3 na siya. Si Cadenza, mahanap ang isa. And this is a 3v3 in the mid lane. If they try to fight this, Lumiere, medyo delikado, split-split. Hinahanap din si Cadenza near the Lord Pit. At mukhang magbabak na nga siya. Next play, Evos. They are still finding picks, but El Ganador Esports. Dalawa na ang kanilang turtle. All turtles of the game sila ang nakakuha. Bottom lane, napupush out dito ng mga minions sa next play, Evos. King Frenzy gonna be forced to respond. Pero alam ng El Ganador na next play, Evos, susubukan nila maghanap ng advantage dito sa Lord Pit. But it 
preset from time to time. Hinihintay lang na next play Evo sa mga key targets sa El Ganador. Trying to force El Ganador to an early rotation or early commitment. And Cadenza looking for targets. He does find Lumiere. Split split na naman. Mag-ang kong target na oh! ng pasabog ng Bash Impact. Min! Nine minutes pa lang. Napakasakit na ng Sicilian. Kailangan talagang respetuhin. Here comes the crossbow of Tang. King Frenzy nagahanap. Shadow kill is down. Hindi masyado nabawakan si Uredi. At babalik sa kanyang quad shadow. The first sword of the game. Going to the next day. H2O with the combo. Mingguin goes down. The first death ng Kagura this game. Mr. John Paul Salonga outplaying. Mr. Carl Edriel Galiantes, Minguin and Age 2 fighting for that Lord. Mukhang may chance doon si Minguin na nakawin yung Lord gamit yung ultimate niya. But Age 2 able to just combo and retreat just in time. Able to... He eats up the damage ng, uh, ng yin yang overturn. Pero na sidestep niya, he was able to knock back and combo Minguin from 80% health down to 20, bursting down. Maganda yung display na pinapakita ng mga teams natin at mga players dito. That was a great duel between Minguin at H2. Cadenza, umaamba ng konti. That's the third, the third in the mid lane for next play, Evos. Talaga nagagamit nila ang kapangyarihan ng isang 1-1 to push somewhat fast, especially with attacks. Cadenza! Cadenza he finds Minguin, Sangre and Josie di tatama. And pinakain na rin ng next play, Evos, ang jungle ng El Ganador Esports. This limits yung pwedeng makuwang gold ng El Ganador. Uh, and El Ganador, nakita natin sila... Me Meron mga times na hirapan talaga sila makalapit dahil sa zone out. Oh, like this! Oh, disgusting damage na galing sa next play Evo. At bumagsak pa nga sa harapan pa ng base si Percent. At look at this, the damage from Gilly Hayes. Bataan nun, dealing so much damage with the fast impact. Nagkakaubusan na ng inhibitor turning dito. Papasok sa ikon na yung jong. Here comes the damage coming in from Shadow Kid. Pero walang babagsak. Hanggang si Lumiere ang unang namatay. That's one inhibitor turret in El Ganador Esports slowly, slowly losing out in this game. Next play, Evos in full control for this game number one. Look at that. The initial damage na lumabas kay Apple Pesha from the Sicilian forcing back Joseph, forcing back Lumiere. The opening there for NXP, El Ganador, si Ming Green, sinubukan niya mag-burst damage gamit ang yin yang overturn. Pero dahil sa range damage, the range pokes coming in from Apple Tisha, nakita natin minsan yung mga miyembro ng El Ganador na yung iba gusto lumaban, gusto habulin yung mga miyembro ng NXP Evos. Pero dahil natamaan sila ng damage ng Sicilian, maybe even a bit from H2, nasisplit yung El Ganador. They backline parang ayaw nila mag-commit sa mga laban, frontline, parang gusto nila mag-commit. The Sicilian is a problem. Ureshi, maganda din yung timing at entry niya with the Black Dragon form. Oh, delikado na, malapit na mag-February. Ang daming hindi gusto mag-commit. At H2O, mukhang mananakaw ang purple buff. Magsisimula na sila na Nord. Next play, Evos. They are trying to secure this Nord quite uncontested. Cadenza and Donut trying to zone out a four people here. Sanguine Claws, hindi ito tama, pero fast impact. Ureshi! Si Lumiere, Ureshi, medyo delikado. Cadenza, umaamba. Nahanap dito si Mingguin. And now Mingguin has to back off. Napakataas pa ng HP ng Nord. At si Donut na nga ang hinanap ng El Ganador Esports. This is going to be hard for next play, Evos. Mukhang medyo mabagal ang kanilang Lord. Napull naman nila sa kanilang side, ngunit ang El Ganador Esports ay unti-unti nang nakakapasok sa Lord area. This might just be very risky for the side of the oh! Evos. Pinauwi muna, pero hindi ma-reset ang Lord. Nandito na si Yelly Hayes, nandito na ang Cecilion, at mukhang mapapatigil muna ang laban. Masyado matagal daw ng El Ganador Esports. Great call for next play, Evos. Dinelay nila yung damage sa Lord kasi nakita nila yung minion waves sa bottom lane. May iwan na bukas yung bottom lane na yon So El Ganador, habang matagal sila naghihintay doon, naghahanap ng opening, hinihintay yung next play Evos. Uy, i-damage yung Lord. Next play Evos, minion waves sa bottom lane. Okay, hintay lang, lang namin yun. Umabot sa point na yung El Ganador Esports. Kailangan na nila bumalik 
sa base para makaklear ng minion wave. And so, next play, Evos, nakuha na nila yung Lord na walang contest galing sa El Ganador. And next play, Evos, no? they are running the Sicilian. Si Joseph, hindi pa natin nakikita ang gumawa ng plays. In fact, he is still 0-0-0. Okay naman to para sa clean plate game, pero kailangan na niyang makuha ng kills. Kailangan na niyang mapakita ang clean power spike unless, of course, next play, Evos. Nandito rin eh, yung Sicilian. We are in 14 minutes inside this game. Napakasakit na talaga niyan with the stacks, with the items as well. Full entry, full seat when next play Evos. Cadenza, pumasok. Oh no. Nandito rin ang door, pero mukhang sorry muna ang call ng next play Evos. The hope is real coming in from the Bats Impact and the Sanguine Claws. Dalawa na bumagsak na inhibitor turret at mukhang gusto lang nilang i-show ang top lane para sa side ng El Ganador Esports. This is a quite a safe push coming in from next three Evos. Hindi masyadong risky ang kanilang ginawa hanggang nakita nila at nahuli ang blow. Wala ng safe save. Risky na ho risky. Papasukin na nila lahat. And next day Evos, they find one. At ang call nila ngayon ay subukin tapusin ang inhibitor turret sa top side. Fake off! Lumiere! Kahit just give next play Evos an inch, one inch away from the range of the tower. Ganun lang kalayo si Lumiere sa sariling tore niya. Nakita ka agad ng next play Evos. Kaya natin to i-burst at nangyari nga yun. Without their tank, wala na tako dito ang next play Evos. Patumbahin ang base turret nila sa top lane. Kalbo na ang base ng El Ganador Esports. Dalawang tore pa lang. Nababasag nila sa laban na to, both side lane turrets. Next play, Evos still in full control. 40 seconds bago mag-spawn ang next Lord. Galbo na ang base ng El Ganador Esports. Shoutout muli sa iyo, Erie Neiman. Babagsak na ang ilaban. And it's a killing spree for Yelly Hayes. Nakahanap na lang isa. Lumiero, ready na ako ng tank. Is now but oh! again niyang overturn. Coming in from Ningguin. Low HP si Cadenza. Ginahanap ni King Frenzy. Pero doon sa backline, babagsak na rin si Clint. Shadow kill. Tumama lamang doon sa naglalakad na cabbage. Napakasakit naman nun tignan. And here comes Donuts. Ang kinuguri ang 1-1 Lords with a crossbow. Oh! Tapat tapos na pala ang laro. Next day, Evo takes game number one. Habang nangyari lahat yun, H2 at saka si Ureshi nandun na sa base. May kasama silang minion wave. Tinapos na nila yung laro. Pero natapos pa ng next play Evos with a wipeout. Donut getting the last kill there with that 1-1. Close game for the first 6 to 8 minutes. Maybe even a little bit more than that. 